There is chaos. Chaos is uh, needed for complexity too. Um, actually, when a system transitions to a state of higher order, uh, you need some chaos in the system. So that's because like if a system is too rigid and too, um, so you could think of like things seemed, we had democratic presidents, like you could think about um, just like how things were under Obama for a while. You know, we didn't, there wasn't the craziness that we're seeing today. So you might think like, oh, well, whatever that system was, it was a good thing or it was better than what we have now. But no system, no model, no way of doing things will work forever because uh, the external world is always changing. So we're always going to be going through these cycles and phases where we have uh, temporary stability but then the system needs to change. And I think right now, when we're seeing all this chaos, it is indicative of what uh, complexity scientists call a phase transit. See, all the reasoning he's trying to articulate through his own logical processing will always leave him doubting and uncertain because he doesn't possess an absolute truth. His reasoning is nothing more than a bunch of self-perceived fallacies. I have the answer because I have the word of God that reveals all truth. You want to know why our society is so chaotic right now? Why every day there's another mass shooting? Literally almost every day in the news you hear a mass shooting. We just had, I think it was yesterday, somebody walked into a store and shot three people. Shot, I think three people were hit. I mean, it's like every day. Uh, I remember the days when Columbine, remember the Columbine school shooting? I remember when that was the only thing in regards to mass shootings that shocked people. That I mean, when that happened, it stopped the world because mass shootings weren't common then. Um, but now it's totally different. But the reason why these crimes are ramping up is because God is angry, Psalm 711. God is a righteous judge and he is angry with the wicked every single day. And how do I know that it is God that is responsible for this destruction that we see in this world? Because he takes credit for it all. Isaiah 45, seven, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and I create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. And you wanna know what the scariest part about all of this is? The more the United States as a nation begins to pull away from God, the more destruction God will bring forth on this nation. Now, I'm not going to say that this nation has ever truly been a Christian nation because sinners have always hated God. But this is the truth. The more a nation pulls away from God, the more destruction that nation will see. I mean, for evidence, look at the Middle East. Look at all the third world countries that are highly Muslim, Buddhist, or any other false religion. The destruction in those parts of the world are always the highest.